Hi, and welcome back to the Backhaul Lounge. And here in the Backhaul Lounge, we listen to you. You ask for more people from R&D, and we brought you more from R&D people. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mo, how are you? I'm good, how are you? And today we're going to run some unboxing of a new product of Saragon. Yes. I can hear it coming, yes? Fresh off the press, we have the Saragon CPRI solution, right? This is a CPRI, wireless CPRI solution for 4G networks. Yes, it is. And, and more, why are we talking about CPRI in an age in which 5G rules and everyone is going to eCPRI and split 7.2? Why do we need a CPRI solution? Uh, we know that 5G will not replace the 4G. Uh, are, we have many customers that still, still use CPRI as the connectivity between the base station and the radio unit. And uh, this is why we came up with the solution. So basically this is another level of flexible wireless only, allowing operators to have the flexibility to put the remote radio unit wherever they need, uh, regardless of whether they have fiber there or not, right? Exactly. Okay, so let's unbox it <laughs> and see what you brought for us. More is the uh, project manager for this product in our R&D. And we are now unboxing this great radio solution. Let's see how it looks like. It feels light. Yeah. It is a surprise in a big box. Yeah. Okay, so we have this, we have that. Are we sure this is it? This is a, everything? Okay. Wow. What is this? Oh, this is a radio solution? Where, where do you connect the antenna? This is our solution for Sipper, yes. Okay, so more. How, how does it work? It looks like a clever um, dongle or something? Our idea is to use the same uh, IP50 radio link that we have today that supports Ethernet and eCPRI and actually connect this module to the QSFP cage on this side. And on this side we have the SFP Plus, supports up to 10 gigabit per second. And this is the entire solution. So basically this, this is a CPRI SFP that we put into some kind of converter, which takes the CPRI uh, signal and transfer it to QSFP Ethernet single? Yeah, it's a, a protocol called ROE, it's radio over Ethernet. And the transition we are doing, our solution is to transition the CPRI into Ethernet and then send it on our radio. So Mor, uh, you mentioned 10 gigabit per second, which options of uh, CPRI are we supporting? Up to option 7 which is a bit less than 10 giga, but this is our maximum capacity. So, CBRI option 7, uh, wirelessly, I think this is more than enough. Yeah. So the smart is inside here, right? Yeah. You have some kind of uh, uh, circuit inside. Yeah. Do you want to show us? Yeah, I can show it. Uh, this, is our, this is our secret. You can see how small it is. Let's take a look. Yeah, so basically what we have here is uh, the entire CPRI solution. Yeah, you have uh, on one side the CPRI interface and on the other side uh, 40 gig Ethernet interface and it runs the CPRI over the Ethernet. So for instance if we connect it to the IP50 which is near the BBU and the second one on the IP50 which is on the other end of the link near the radio unit, you have a transparent CPRI connectivity. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's great. And more, I understand that you had a uh, huge dilemma with this product, right? Regarding the color of the uh, uh, liver of this uh, dongle. Yeah, this so, is called the QSFP latch and uh, we had a big uh, dilemma uh, on the color. Actually, the first prototype we got was pink. I didn't okay. choose this color, but uh, this is what they remembered that I chose. Uh, I picked yellow, actually. And, and then marketing and came. And then marketing and came says, and changed it to We have to have it in red. Yes. So, uh, if you are an operator that seeks to run 4G uh, front hall on CPRI interface and you want this unique solution that can be plugged in into our IP50E which uh, delivers Ethernet, which delivers EC3, the same product, this is a simple plug-in with uh, the, the red uh, touch, uh, you can put it in and you have a, a CPRI wireless solution you don't need to have another type of radio or and, and you can maintain the utmost flexibility in your network. 
Thank you very much, Mo, for joining us. Thanks for having me. And thank you for uh, watching this episode of the Beth Ball Lounge. We'll be back with more exciting news like this. Thank you very much.